Slam that dough. Cost too much to get fixed. Tasha, hey, this is this is Ronald. Hey, I, I'm I'm sitting in traffic. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there in about five minutes. Uh, look, I don't want no excuses. I don't care about the traffic. Make sure you get to work on time. No, I know. I understand. All right, I, I'll see you as soon as I get there. All right, bye. Okay, thank you. Oh, this just might be his last day. I, I just can't. This dude. Commute, 
it's gonna take us more than two hours to move you. And we don't do flat rates. Oh, well, do I need to call James? Cause he the one told me I was gonna get a flat rate and I'm not spending over $400. Don't worry about it, hold up, I got it. You hear me what I say, just wait a minute. Thank you for calling Moves R Us. My name is James. How may I assist you today? Hello. Hey, uh, yes, James. Uh-huh. This is Gwen. How you doing? All right. Uh, I booked a move with you on yesterday. Listen, your movers are here, and they trying to tell me that you don't do flat rates, but I know that's a lie because you gave me one yesterday. I understand, Miss Gwen. Your flat rate should be honored. Could you put your mover on the phone, please? I sure will. What's going on, James? You know we don't do flat rates. With the little bit of stuff she has on the list, you guys should be able to handle that in what? Two hours or less? What? Man, everything in her house is not even on the list. You know I do not do flat rates. And I gotta pay my people by the hour. After two hours, we're gonna basically be working for free. Are you gonna compensate me for the extra time? Why are you even complaining? At least you have a job. Now put your big boy pants on and handle this one. But are you going to compensate me for the extra time? No, we can't do that. Look, how about you just work for two hours and whatever you can't get to in that time frame, just leave it. Man, I don't do business like this. Don't ever book me for a flat rate again. Fine, cancel the job then. I'm sorry, but we're going to have to cancel this move. And I do apologize for the inconvenience. What you mean, cancel the move? I got to be out of here by tomorrow. Hey! I need y'all come get this stuff for me. I know, that's why you can't hide. Yeah, but I knew I should have went with another company. I knew I should have went with another company. No good son of a gun. Hmm. money. Man, I can't go home to my wife tonight until I ain't make no money. Car payment already due. Yes. I guess we go back and tell Miss Gwen we'll do the job. I can't afford not to work. Bro, this gonna cost us money. Man, James screwed us! Hey, Tasha, what's going on? You got that girl for me out that interview? Uh, no, sir. Mr. Clark, I'm sorry to come to this, but I'm going to need you to turn in your ID badge. Uh, you have 10 minutes to vacate the premises. If you need a box, one will be provided for you. 10 minutes? Yes, sir. Wow. Um, also, I'm going to need you to take these pictures of these women off the wall and get those pinto beans off this desk. Thank you. Mm. I ain't never liked you anyway. Your mama did. Oh, what's going on, brother? Look at you, man. You look sharp. Listen, I need about $20. Uh, because I want to get this outfit from the thrift store right over there. But listen. I got this job fair going on across the street, and I cannot go looking like this. $20? Yeah. Since when did the homeless rate go up from spare change to $20? Serious, brother, man. I'm just trying to get it together. Yeah. Whatever, man. All right.
Man, I really appreciate it, man. Look, I promise you it's going to go to good use. No problem, man. Just don't snort it all up. I'm serious about that job. River in Mount Holly. Clark is survived by his wife and six year old daughter. I'm so sad. I for that man Paramedics tried to resuscitate him, but he was already pronounced dead on the scene from respiratory impairment. He was last seen with a blue suit and a white collared shirt. Oh no. Can't be him. Can it? What's wrong? That guy was behind me this morning on one way. He beeped at me, but I wouldn't speak up. I remember because he pulled up next to me and flicked me off. I hope I hope he didn't lose his job because Something's telling me that that's him and that this is all my fault. Hard headed people have to learn the hard ones. Well, maybe you'll make better decisions and understand that your actions affect other people. Other people. I need y'all to come get this stuff for me! Don't snort it all up. Nate's been a jerk. And James screwed up.